uh, Martin Edmondson. I'm the uh, founder of Reflections, the creators of the original Driver game, and the creative director of Driver San Francisco. And we've got the full game here with all modes. That's 11 online multiplayer modes, up to eight players uh, in those games, and uh, also split screen, which has an additional two-player split screen, has an additional eight modes, and they're a mixture of cooperative, team-based, and also competitive games as well. Uh, we're showing here a game called Tag which is a very simple game in, uh, in, in theory. <laughs> you, you acquire a tag, you get one point for every second that you have that tag. If someone bumps into you, touches you, you lose the tag, they get the tag, you bump into them, you take the tag off them. And it's the first player to 100 points. Now, what it does is it really showcases the shift feature, which is the innovative thing that we've added uh, to Driver San Francisco, the ability for the player to shift or move between vehicles uh, instantaneously, rapidly, even from one side of the city to the other side of the city with no loading, no delays and it really uh, comes alive in this mode here because you have people shifting rapidly into vehicles around you um, to try and hit your vehicle to take the, the tag off you. It's a real sort of paranoid environment where any car in the city can suddenly turn into another player. One of the advantages of, of the shift mechanism when it's applied to multiplayer is that it's allowed us to design games uh, and game modes that wouldn't traditionally be associated with a driving game uh, and would never work really very well with a driving game so Shift has allowed us to do things like capture the flag, um, uh, base defense games where you have one team defending the base, the other team attacking, one hit kills the attackers. Um, we've also got normal races and normal chases, we've got a, a mode there where it's cops and robbers, one person is the getaway driver, he has to make four drop-offs in the city, every other player is a cop, when you shift from one uh, cop car to get you back into the action to another cop car in close proximity, that car changes into a cop, so it really keeps everyone in the action. And a whole host of other modes as well, relay races and uh, just all sorts of things. You know, single player runs at 60 frames a second, but with eight players and, <laughs> and everything in San Francisco and all the vehicles, it's, it's not possible, no. That's the biggest challenge, actually. I mean, aside from the technical challenge of actually making it work, uh, is, is just convincing people that uh, that this is not a gimmick, that it's something that's designed right from the very beginning, that it's very new, very innovative, and crucially that it brings an enormous amount of new gameplay to a genre that, uh, you know, is, uh, it, it, it's a real game changer. And it's been a very difficult sell on paper, or a tricky sell on paper, because when you read about it, it's difficult to really try and imagine how that translates into a game that's balanced or, uh, or fun or, or that even works. You really have to play it more than any other game that we've designed, actually. Uh, Driver San Francisco, you have to get your hands on it and play it. And that's when we get this sort of real uh, moment when people who have been uh, skeptical, they spend a few minutes playing, especially on multiplayer as well, uh, playing with it and they're just right. I get it and understand how it works and I can see what this brings to the game. I'm not sure whether they've, uh, uh, com uh, well, I'm not sure whether they've confirmed the, the demo or not, but clearly, you know, it's, a, it's a, a, a feature like this is something that we want as many people as possible to just experience with their hands on the pad. And that's one of the things we added actually with the extra time when we, um, when we uh, decided to uh, add another uh, whole year to the development schedule. Uh, a whole bunch of other things we added, but one thing that we added were these things called movie challenges. And there are clapperboards in the city, and you find them, 130 of these, and when you collect the, uh, enough of them, they open up movie challenges. And movie challenges are basically a challenge, be it a race or a chase, uh, or something else that's inspired by some of the biggest uh, movie car chases of all time. So basically, if you think of a big car chase, big movie car chase from the 70s, also some more contemporary ones as well, the chances are that that is in the game, inspired by that, using the same cars, music reminiscent, so you can really sort of immerse yourself in that uh, famous car chase. And of course, with the movie director back in Driver San Francisco, you can build those car chases, position your, ca your cameras, and produce your own movie car chase. They're all in San Francisco, yes, no, we didn't take <laughs> different cities from uh, different yeah. movies, no. That was one, uh, one thing we had, to, uh, we had to... Actually, what we did was found areas of the city that best uh, replicated the feel of the, uh, the, the, you know, the inspiration we were trying to take from the real movie. So, like, the, the Italian job, you, have you, is that one in there? You've well, the Italian job, for example, would be, uh, would be a drive through the... the well, in, in the real film, it was the mountains of Turin. But, you know, we have up in Marin County, we have these long, winding... Uh, roads that go through tunnels, you know, and it has a very sort of similar feel. And I shoot bullets, obviously. Yeah. Any, pretty much any big yeah. film you can think of yeah. is in there. Experience the real side of driving.